Africa, beautiful landscapes with unique cultures and teeming with history. Home to more than one billion people, the African continent is rich with mission opportunities. Here, you find some of the most picturesque scenery on earth, as well as loving people who are full of joy. Unfortunately, this beauty has been marred time and again by war and violence. Despite the problems, there are more than 7 million Seventh-day Adventists and three World Division offices here. One of the divisions is the East Central Africa Division, and this is our focus this quarter. This territory is made up of 11 countries and more than 11,000 churches. Four of the countries are in the 1040 window, a region considered to be the most unreached area of the world. In countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Eritrea, Rwanda, and Somalia, war and violence have taken a heavy toll, impacting thousands of lives. In Rwanda, tribal genocide affected church members, left buildings in ruin, and scattered families. But the resilience of this faithful people is helping to make strides towards a strong church. The church in Rwanda has more than half a million members and is well respected in the community. Rwandans are required to perform community service on the last Saturday of each month, but the government makes an exception for Adventist members to perform these duties on Sunday instead to accommodate Sabbath observance. In the country of South Sudan, there has also been war, and sadly, fighting is still going on. But in spite of these problems, God is working here. There are 59 Adventist churches with approximately 24,000 members, and more and more people are becoming Adventists every year in South Sudan. This Sabbath, church members from all over Juba are joining together in worship. They celebrate growth in their territory. God is richly blessing the dedicated work of this faithful family. Juba is the capital city where Adventists operate a school, a clinic, and among other entities, an Adventist radio station. There are approximately 900 students at the school here, but not enough classrooms to accommodate them. Students sit tightly together as they share a desk, and some have to sit on the floor as they write with notebooks on their laps. The children pay little attention to these inconveniences. They are eager to learn and are very respectful towards their teachers and faculty. There are many plans for growth in the East Central Africa Division. Please pray for local leadership and for church members as they are actively involved in reaching their world for Jesus. Yeah, working as a missionary is something that one can think that he really has done something for the Lord. When Jesus was here, he was healing sick people. He was going around to touch them and give them back their health so they can be of uh, witness to him. Here, I, can, I am not preaching here, but I am doing my, my part in healing these people. Muganero Adventist Hospital located in the hills of Rwanda, overlooking the Great Lake Kivu, is a 104-bed facility that ministers to the needs of some 70,000 villagers who seek attention annually. The medical work began here in a tent back in 1931, while construction of the first hospital ward took place. As people began to trust the medicine of the missionaries, the hospital expanded to become a nursing school that was established in 1941. Unfortunately, the Civil War in the 1990s claimed some 800,000 lives. Today, a memorial stands at the Muganero Hospital entrance, 
as a silent witness of the violence that took place inside the hospital more than 20 years ago. Today, the nursing school continues to prepare staff, and missionaries still support the medical work at Muganero Hospital. Uh, working here in Rwanda, in Africa, is, as a medical doctor, is something like uh, having a fulfillment of your dreams. We're coming here as a missionary and helping people around. Here in the hospital, the most common surgical patients that I have here are those uh, hernias, intestinal obstruction, volvulus. Some are coming with goiter, some with breast cancer. Those masses, they come here and seek for any intervention. Many patients who come to Muganero Hospital don't have enough money to pay for proper treatment. So instead of refusing or referring them on, Dr. Jesse finds them a place on the schedule. So with that patient, I usually just uh, have them on schedule. And when on the table, I will, of course, in every operation that I have, I have to pray before doing it. So I have to pray and then do my best. And sometimes I can even hear myself that somebody is just whispering to me what to do. So I'm happy for that. And most of the time, these patients, they go home with uh, problem solved, and that it's also a fulfillment to myself. Though we cannot just really uh, communicate verbally, but I can see in their faces that when they go out, they smile at me and saying that, thank you, I, ha I, am, I am okay now. Dr. Jesse has been serving in Africa as a medical missionary for over a decade. He worked in Kenya, Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo, and now Rwanda. He wants his life to be an example for his children and others as they consider a life of service. Coming here as a missionary, you cannot get a big reward financially. We don't count the, the money that we get from time to time because we know that there is something up there that is prepared also for us. Uh, working for Jesus. Your prayers make a difference in the lives of those who dedicate their time to serve. Thanks for your support of mission.